Welcome back, everybody. My name is Jason Gorman, Chris Weiler, Justin Matzik, Ben Christensen. We are the rest of the field. Tuning in, kind of special uh, special content that we're bringing you today. We decided that maybe we would try to bring you guys something uh, in the middle of the week. Obviously, we know today is a, a Sunday, but it's middle of the week in terms of when we are bringing out our podcast. So something we might try to do, if you guys are liking it, certainly let us know um, on Twitter, where you can find us at rest underscore field and on Instagram, the rest of the field. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can just search the rest of the field and we should pop right up. And hopefully that's where you're watching all of our content. But we will certainly um, try to post as much as we can on the other social medias so you know where to find us. Um, so what we're going to do today is we found uh, something unique that we thought um, would be fun to do. And this is a you see them all the time for all different sports. You get a salary cap. This was brought out by Bleacher Reports. So that's why you see the BR there. Um, you get a $15 salary cap. You have to take one player or, or you basically have to assemble a team of five um, within that salary cap. Now, when they post this, everybody can pick every player. Um, so, one, you know, everybody's tweeting back their answers of what they would take. And it doesn't matter who you could have the exact same team as thousands of other people. So what we decided to do was take that concept with the $15 salary cap. Um, what we did is put some parameters on it of you have to take at least two guards and at least two forwards, and then you can take a third guard or a third forward. So there aren't going to be any centers, even though there are guys like, say, David Robinson or Patrick Ewing that may be centers in your mind. That's that's maybe how you know them, uh, but they will be listed as a forward. So everybody will have to take five guys um, in a, a normal snake draft format. And once a guy is chosen, he can't be picked by anybody else. So he's off the board. So everybody will have to work within the construct of those param parameters and the salary cap. So we thought that would be pretty fun. We want to bring you just that today. Um, let me welcome in everybody else here. Um, there's the rest of the guys all tuning in from different locations around the country. Everybody taking a little time out. So I certainly appreciate that. Um, and here to bring you what we find to be really fun and interesting content. Basically, this is what we do on a daily basis is just argue about stuff, or at least I argue. Everybody else seems to have like a really good constructive conversation. And then I just argue and disagree with everybody. So I'm, I'm that guy. Uh, let me get this fired up and we can get the draft started. We did another um, random drawing for the draft order. Uh, basically what I do is I take our order from the previous draft, whatever draft that may be, um, in this case, it was the Adam Sandler movie draft, which you can check out on our podcast from week three. Um, and you can find the uh, the teams that we drafted and the current poll question on who had the best team. You can find that on Twitter. Um, so I take that order. I put it into this random generator in the order that we drafted. It gives us a new um, order. So unfortunately, Chris can never find his way towards the front of the draft. What's the highest? Have you ever random. been one or two? I haven't. I'm. I'm very. Uh, I question this random draft app that we have your, utilized your here. Come, Chris. It will. Yeah, it will. Be. Maybe we'll Chris, see. It'll. It, it'll only come when you don't want to be number one. Like Ben in week three in the Sandler. Adam Sandler draft did not want to have the number one pick, and that's what he got. Um, in this case, obviously, he certainly wanted to have one of those top picks, but um, let me pull it up here. If you guys didn't want one of those top three picks, I think I'd be happy to take that over. So trade, you want to trade, trade up? Absolutely. Can you guys can you offer? guys see my screen? Yep. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm holding firm. And then I just think it was I, funny when when Jason said that he was the disagree argument guy that not a single one of us um, said that he wasn't. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you guys can see me type though. Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So you can see the order there. We're going to go Ben, uh, Justin, me, and then Chris, and then it's going to snake back. Um, picks four to five are going to snake, um, but we're going to do five rounds this time, obviously, to create a starting five. So a little bit different, one extra round than what we're typically used to. So Chris and Ben are both going to have two back-to-back -back picks um, in, in some different rounds. So let's just get right into it. Uh, you can see the 
the big three that are out there, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, I don't think anybody's going to reach and take Kevin Durant and Carmelo Anthony. Um, are you guys looking at this in terms of the Olympics edition, or are you just drafting these guys as they are, as their careers, you know, in their essentially in their prime, um, or are you taking the Olympic part uh, into question? Because I'm not. I'm not looking at it as, you know, maybe Carmelo had really good Olympic um, stats, and that's why he's listed as a $5 player. So I, what are you guys looking at? Justin, how do you see it? Well, I see this as the Olympics edition, um, but I still don't know why he's a $5 player. Uh, I think I'll draft probably not Olympics, like overall career. Right. And ben, if, Chris, what are you guys thinking? Yeah, I'm a full career. This isn't just Olympics based. I mean, Olympics are such a small amount of what these guys have done. You kind of got to take a little bit of the, the whole career into account. Right. Is Car right. is Carmelo even on this on this screen? If this is an overall, I mean, I'm not even sure he is. Yeah, I mean, he's certainly not a five dollar mm -hmm. player in my mind. I don't know enough about the specific Olympic stats to know if if he would, you know, really rank up as like I don't know. Did he like really turn it on in the Olympics? That anybody? Yeah, I mean, he he I, was great in the Olympics. I know he was on a lot of the teams as well. Like. Yeah. So wait, the only three-time Olympic champion isn't going to get taken first overall? Wow, you guys, that's yeah. He'll that's, drop to you, Chris. Yeah, you can know. have him. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get right into it, Ben. Ben, first pick overall. Who are you going to go with? I'm going to reach and take the goat, Michael Jordan. Oh wow! I know I'm it's, just going to type five dollars, but but I think oh, MJ okay. is worth at least six or seven. So. Okay. Well, we can certainly charge I'd you. I'd be happy to charge you more. Nope, nope. Right. We're going to stick it at five. That's what it, that's what it's shown as. So, so that's Ben's what we're going taking, with. Ben's taking a guard and a $5 player number one. Justin, second pick. I will be taking the king, LBJ, for $5. I am a huge LeBron James fan, so... I was kind of hoping you might go with the late, great Kobe Bryant, but um, I guess that makes kind of makes my choice for me. I'm certainly a bigger uh, LeBron fan than Kobe or Michael Jordan fan, so, um, but I will go with Kobe Bryant there at the, uh, and you know what I'll do here after each one is I'll, I'll put, uh, I'll put the dollars so we can kind of add it up. We can all see that. I should be back in my classroom. Dang it. You can switch it up quick if you want. While Chris is wondering whether he should take Carmelo at the number, his number one pick, the fourth pick right. overall. Well, unlike Jason as a GM, I don't draft based on my fanhood. I draft on quality. So value pick so here. So did I. We're going with with burn. And if it was fanhood, I would have gone down the list to somebody else because I'm, I'm just not a big Kobe fan. So I had to draft the need and that's the top player on my board awesome. no i totally agree i was just giving you a hard time so my <laughs> first pick will be kd going to five dollar forward okay oh, snake snaking it back we're going with the other legend from shy town four dollar guard wade oh okay hometown shout out i uh, got a he to me spells Dwayne different than I would spell it, so I always have to double check myself there. So Chris, Chris did is you take did you take Durant on the snake draft because he is a snake? No, I oh. took him because he's a legend. Oh. Oh. A legend, legend. Wow. Tired. Okay, so um, Chris is already up to nine dollars of his fifteen dollar salary cap, and he has taken a guard and a forward. So just I'm so everybody pay the luxury, so everybody knows. <laughs> oh yeah, just so everybody's following along, you do have to take at least two guards and at least two forwards, um, and then your your fifth pick, or it doesn't it doesn't have to be your fifth pick, but um, you're going to take an additional guard or an additional forward to round out your five. Um, gosh, you know, I still don't like Carmelo. He is a five dollar player sitting there. Um, I know 
whatever route I go between the two players that I would think about taking here, whoever I don't pick is not going to make it back. Um, I already have one guard. I, I think I'm going to go guard forward as well. I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Scotty Pippen here. Um, my team a little bit of defense. Oh, uh, that was a... can that guy hit a 22 footer? Okay, I'd be nervous about that. I don't need him to make shots. I got Kobe. Kobe's putting oh, up eight oh, one. Wait till you see tonight. I think Coach Shevsky talks about how Kobe needs to hit open shots because people are standing still. It's Olympic basketball. Okay. All right. Oh, we'll I, see, you're, talking, we'll uh, see. you're talking on the last dance, the next uh, two episodes? Yes. Yep. Gotcha. Well, that'll yeah. be interesting. I mean, that'll be fun. It'll be different, I think, than what most people are seeing. Um, Justin, what do you got? Did I did I steal one from you or were you? Uh, you you did now? steal that. Um, wow. You stole that. But I will be going with and I'm not sure that, again, this is probably because it's an Olympics thing, but I think people are going to be looking at this as overall career when they when they see the poll for the teams. But I'm going with Magic Johnson, $3 guard. Yep. Oh, that was my value pick. So also my me. childhood idol. I, yeah, love, and that's, I mean, love the Showtime that's what, Lakers. That's what my pick was going to be. Is going to be Scotty or Magic. And I knew whichever one I didn't take wasn't going to make it back to me. So um, the fact that Justin took him and Ben said he was he was looking that route too and had I not taken Scotty and taken Magic, Justin would have taken Scotty. So now was Magic listed as a guard in this? He is. He is, okay. Just wondering. You have the you have the sheet. Everybody has it. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. So okay. um, well that's your fault. Yep. That's fantastic. <laughs> also, can you introduce us to your friend on your lap? This is Ruby. Ruby. Hi, Ruby. She's my dog. What kind of dog is she there, Ben? She is a pit bull mix. Oh, nice. Nice looking dog. Anyways, yeah. what's your next pick? I kind of like her own. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am going to take uh, Larry Legend, $3 forward. Best value on the board. Do you guys want me to put the position as I type it in as well? Or can you guys follow along? No, I think we can follow. That's fine. Okay. So Justin and uh, Ben are currently through two rounds at eight dollars. Uh, myself and Chris, we are at nine dollars. Did everybody go guard forward? Looks like it. All right. So Ben, you're coming right back at us with uh, the ninth overall pick. Your third pick in the draft. Yeah. Let me see. How do I want to approach this? I'm going to take some shooting. I'm going to, I'm going to go a tier down, go for another value three pick with the, with the big Reggie Miller. Wow. Interesting. I mean, uh, certainly a long, um, a long ways back to you. So who knows if he would have lasted, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, you know, when you're on the ends like that, it's an interesting approach because you have so long in between. So sometimes you have to reach a little bit in terms of draft strategy, um, but certainly got yourself. Probably would, the best shooter. Yeah, yeah. I would say, I, I would say the best shooter on the board. Clay Thompson, maybe. Yeah. But with Larry and Reggie, um, he's got two of the best shooters. And then MJ, I mean, really didn't have to shoot a bunch of threes in his career, but you would think. Has anybody seen Kevin Durant play by, by chance? Nobody? <laughs> Very good shooter, not going to lie. Not not at the moment he's not, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him up. I wouldn't put him up there with Larry and, and Reggie and Clay. Wow. Okay. You would put you would put him ahead of you would put him ahead of those guys? As a as a scorer shooter? Oh, absolutely. No, 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 no. no. Not a scorer. Just an uh, outside shooter. Yeah, I would I'm comfortable putting KD in that category. Larry Legend never yeah. shot that many threes, to be honest with you. And he shot from maybe right. a what, twenty two foot line yeah. instead of twenty four? Wasn't part of the game though. Wasn't part of the game. Mm. Just saying, just saying. Yeah, well, I mean, Larry would be the only guy I would put Kevin Durant ahead of. He's not a better shooter than Clay Thompson or Reggie Miller. I would, I would agree with that. I didn't watch as much of Larry to know. I mean, 
obviously he's older. So, but let's keep it let's keep it rolling here, uh, Justin. Your third pick, tenth uh, overall. I will be going with who arguably I guess was the dream team. You know, besides people wanting to see Jordan, they want to see Charles Barkley. Four dollar yeah. forward. If only you got points for commentators. Are you saying Charles Barkley is not good, Ben? No, no, I'm saying I think he's he's almost a better commentator than he was a football player or a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely a better with commentator. That, with that snapper player. right there, nobody is taking your opinion the rest of this, yep. this draft. I'm done yeah. talking. I screwed myself. Yeah. Charles, <laughs> Charles Barkley coming in at right player. guard. Yep. Yeah, I mean, to play in the SEC, to play for, you know, Auburn football and then have the NBA career that he had, that's pretty All impressive. All right, let's move along. That is great. I mean, so, you don't uh, see that too often. Yeah, Justin, just a reminder, you are now at $12 overall, so you have $3 left to spend on your remaining two picks, and you are at two forwards and a guard. Um, with that, I am going to go, gosh, on my... See, this is why I liked having a, a, a designated center in this draft process because we're leaving some guys up at the $4 mark that I would consider centers, but now I don't still know. still take them. Yeah, I know. Um, I think I was actually surprised, Deke, that you didn't take this, this guy because you had said that um, – he was one of your favorite players, if not your favorite player. Um, I'm going to go Kevin Garnett at three dollars. So my second forward. Were you close to maybe taking Garnett instead of Barkley? I thought about it. Garnett is one of my in my top five all time favorite players, but I think just for this draft, I'm trying to win. My Adam Sandler draft was one of my poorest performances that I may ever have, so I needed to try to come back with something something here. It wasn't good at the time, and it is currently uh, performing poorly on Twitter. Yes, but we did get it, a lot of YG you, comments out of Ben. Yeah, I appreciate you kind of tanking on your last pick just so that we could have that segment. Um, but your, your four picks – I shouldn't say your four picks. It was the Sandy Wexler pick that really – kind of dunked your your draft class into the toilet sorry yeah what are you KG's gonna do? a good pick chris we got two picks for you um you are at nine dollars and you have a, a garden a forward who are you going with perfect so just quick fact check from my uh, that guy in the back here he is actually <laughs> telling me reggie miller shot only tenth of a percentage better than KD does. And I'm pretty sure KD has the ball in his hand a lot more than Reggie did and didn't come off screen. So I'm very confident and very comfortable with that pick. Uh, just to I give would, a little bit I of would drop. want to know from your stat guy how many uh, threes that each player took and how many shots overall each guy took to know in terms of those percentages. Um, you know, who's He's only paid them. by a couple hours a day, so that'll take some time, Jason. But we will okay. get that for you guys. Yeah, let me know. I stopped listening when Chris said that Reggie was better. That's all I heard. Oh, I never much? said Reggie was better. But All right, so, sorry. 12th pick in the draft is coming down to the best value shooter in the draft at 41.9% from three-point line, and that's going to be a dollar play. Oh, you're going, you're going $1. Okay, I guess. I mean, $1 doesn't, play. Doesn't matter if you pick him now or your next pick. Um, Chris, you so, got to hope that our viewers and people voting like the Warriors. Because Kevin Durant played two years there? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why most <laughs> if people yeah. don't like him, though, that's why they don't like him, is all I'm saying. That is true. That is true. Well, like, I love that. I actually love Durant. That's my team is trying to win. win. So Chris is currently the most – well, I guess he's tied with Ben. Both Chris and Ben are both at $10 with three players. Um, so they have plenty of room to make any number of decisions. Um, that does, I believe, rule out Carmelo Anthony from being on any team, though. So he will not be getting drafted. Uh, so Chris, with your 13th – or with the 13th pick, your fourth pick overall – 
We're going to go guard forward for my third guard, and we're going CP3. Okay. It's going Chris Paul at $3, which will leave you with $2 left for your last pick when it gets to that point. That'll be fun. I like the CP3 pick. Actually, I like both of those picks. Those were, those were, would have been guys I would have hopefully tried to wait on. Um, but it wouldn't. I mean, obviously they're gone now, so I have to pivot from that. Uh, what am I at here? Twelve dollars. So I have three to spend. So twos and ones for me. Twos and ones. Gosh, I really like Paul George's game. Um, oh, I think I will go with, gosh almighty, I almost want to take Vince just to see him jump over somebody in the Olympics. I think I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with Kyrie Irving, that's the one I was thinking of taking, so I'll just... I'll go with that. Kyrie Irving at two dollars. Oh, breaking news, he just got hurt. Unfortunate yeah. news there. That's he'll be back for the gold medal game. Um, he just fell off Earth. <laughs> Unreal. Another breaking yeah. news. Is he still a flat earther? I don't care. Um I believe so. That puts me at was that fourteen dollars? So I have one dollar, so I have to pick a dollar player um, with my last pick. And that takes us to Justin's fourth pick, 15th pick overall. I'm super confident in my team right now, especially how this draft is playing out. Um, I'm going for a dollar play here. James Harden, the beard. I, th I was thinking about taking him. I, um, not that Kyrie is a whole lot different in terms of um, having has to have the ball in their hand. Um yeah, I just I I don't know. I don't know why I liked Kyrie over Harden. It was really close between those two for me. So that takes us to Ben, who is at ten dollars, and he has back-to-back -back picks. So you will round out your draft here, Ben. You have five dollars to work with. So the question is a three and a two or a four and a one. So we got who we got we have Malone Robinson left at four. <clears throat> Um, we have Chris Mullen and actually just Chris Mullen left at three. Mm -hmm. And then we have some more twos and ones available. So I guess if you if you like those styles of play, Chris Mullen was an NBA jam legend in my eyes. Him and Tim Hardaway. Oh, my gosh. Give Mullen the ball in the corner buckets every time. C. Webb was the sub on that team, right? Um, the, the version I played did not have a sub. Oh, it was it was just when it was just two players. Two guys. <laughs> yeah, I want to say who were the Bucks? It was was it Glenn and Vin Baker, Glenn Robinson and Vin Baker, I think. Yeah, but then the sub version had Ray Allen. Okay, yeah, mine wasn't the sub version, so it was an earlier version. Um, ben, what do you got? What are you thinking? Um, I'm gonna go with Carl Malone. I think he's a top five forward. I like that pick as my, as my fourth pick. I think that's Second all-time leading scorer in NBA history. Yeah. Um, wasn't a real big fan of his game, just from a, right. a watching standpoint. Nothing nothing too exciting, but, I mean, the guy just got buckets. Well, and I think that's, you know, along the same lines of, like, Carmelo, you know, a guy that can score, but, I mean, isn't anybody, not a lot of people's, you know, top pick, not a, not a big fan you don't hear a lot of people going, yeah, I really tried to emulate him growing up and, and his game. Um, maybe more so Carmelo's game than, than Malone's game in terms of being a shooter and a scorer, but um, certainly a Hall of Fame pick. Not a, not a lot of the, these guys will probably all end up in the Hall of Fame. Maybe, maybe not Kevin Love. I don't know. That'd be interesting to see his early career stats may, may get him there. Yeah. So, Ben, you're going to round out your team. It, it does leave you with a dollar. Um, so you're down there with Westbrook, Love, and Clyde. Yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a nostalgia pick. Clyde was one of my favorite players to watch growing up. Uh, maybe it's just because I like calling him Clyde the Glide. But uh, right. I, I, always, I always had a good time watching him play, especially when he was those few years in, in Houston. I know that was closer to the end of his career, but 
Uh, obviously, he's always been a trailblazer first and a rocket second, but he would be my pick. I like it. it uh, so you went the three guard route, and then your your forwards being uh, Larry Bird and Carl Malone. So nice little squad you put together there. Um, Justin, where are you at? You're at nine, ten, thirteen dollars. So yeah, yeah, so you $2. can go two or, or one, depending on what route you want to go. What are you gonna What are you gonna take with your last pick? Side and you're, note you're here, able to I take think guard or forward as well. Yeah, I know, I know, my my pick is in, but I want to. Um, I think Clyde Drexler, my fact check guy, has the day off. It's Sunday. I know Chris is working, but. Um, I think I think Clyde Drexler had a signature shoe made by Kangaroos. Ooh, I, I think you I, might be right. I feel like I heard that as well. That's that's pretty a neat a neat fact anyway. But anyway, um, he, not the Puma he, he, Yeah, he went to he went to Puma, but I believe before that, I believe before that you're right. He did have Kangaroos? We'll fact yeah, check it. And we'll bring it up on the pod. Uh, this week when we'll, we'll interesting touch um so, who so you for my last in? my last pick i'm going with what you said jason uh because he has maybe the greatest olympic dunk of all time and the possibly in my opinion the greatest in-game dunker and dunk contest dunker vince carter for sure for sure, yeah, that dunk over, I don't even know who the guy was or what uh, country he played for, but he literally jumped over that man. Um, what did they, steal a ball on like a press or something like that? It was an inbounds pass that he ended up with. and um, Very impressive. If you haven't seen it, Google it, YouTube it. Um, after you watch this and after you watch our episode three, um, check it out. You'll... If you haven't seen it, you'll be impressed. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing to see. Um, gosh, dang it! Because you know what, Paul George ended up still available, and I don't have an additional dollar to spend. So one dollar that leaves me with Kevin Love or Russ, I guess. Chris, what do you have left? Am I going to steal a pick from you potentially? You have two dollars left, so. Hmm. You know, when I put together my when I tweeted back to Bleacher Report my picks, I had Kevin Love as my as like an, a center essentially and a, another shooter on my squad. But gosh, Russ is an ultra athlete. Where am I at? I'm at, I'm at two guards, two forwards, so it doesn't matter. I think. Uh, I guess I'm going to go Russell Westbrook. Sorry for the delay there. I just that one really was tough for me because I I like Kevin Love's rebounding ability and can kind of play everywhere inside or outside. But I'll go with Westbrook with the athlete, maybe a bigger name to to garner more votes. So Chris, that leaves it to you. You have two dollars to spend, so that leaves you with Paul George. Patrick Ewing or Kevin Love for your last pick and to round out our draft. Yeah, I can't believe he fell to me at the last pick, but we're going with PG, baby. Yeah, dang it. I wish I had money. That's unfortunate when you don't. (laughs) (laughs) Just throw a shade my way. Uh. You're lucky, yeah. God, yeah. I like Chris's team. So I, I, I mean, everybody's got a. There, there's a lot of names. There's a lot of names to take in. So it's. I think the voting will come down to who has maybe two or three of people's favorite players. And that, I mean, obviously that could vary a lot between person to person. So it'll be interesting to see how this one is voted on. Um, anybody with any additional thoughts on their team or anybody else's team who. I think we all like our teams, but does anybody feel like somebody else has has a good team, has a maybe a, a leg up before we, before we send this to Twitter? Anybody seen any front runners? 
No. But I, th- I, I think, think I'm the front runner. I'm not going to lie. Well, Justin's team is going to quit after game one because not enough guys are going to be able to touch the ball. I mean, between Magic, LeBron, and Harden, I, I can't tell you who's going to bring up the ball and who's going to be happy. So it seems like Le- a disaster. LeBron and Magic? Are you kidding me? Magic yeah. is third, third or fourth all time in assists in the NBA. And yeah, LeBron, so LeBron's going to play off ball. Wow, that's something. He's not like a spot shooter. Just saying, people. I hope they listen to this. I think Ben. <laughs> I think Ben could be a dark horse. I also think I'm. I'm a snub. A big snub not being on this list is John Stockton. He was on the Dream Team, and he was also on Dream Team Two, and he's one of the greatest players of all time. He, I mean, yeah, that's, put, take that's Kyrie. Kyrie is injured, and he fell off the earth. Like, take him out. There. <laughs> Right. Box. Well, and I think that's the thing, too, that you got to think about is if you're adding somebody who are you taking off. And in that case, it works with Stockton for Kyrie. But, you know, you do have what I figured was they had 10 guards, they had 10 forwards, and then they had five um, centers. Um, and now some of them are a stretch to be a center, you know, guys like um, Malone and um, and Kevin Love that certainly played more of a forward position, um, even KG to a certain extent. Robinson and Ewing were the only legit centers that were were on here. So who all got snubbed here in terms of what they had? They had Carmelo, yeah, David Mullen, Robinson. Ewing, and Robinson. And Kevin Love. So there was one yeah. from every, every dollar um, section. So Kevin Love, Patrick Ewing. Um, Chris Mullen, David Robinson, Carmelo Anthony. Should we should we put those? Oh, we can't. We can't add them to the poll because that'd be a fifth team. I was going to say we could put them in as like the rest of the field, um, for lack of a better term. But um, the guys who weren't taken to see how they would stack up in the draft. I don't think they would stack up very well in terms of name power, but um, it, would, it would still be interesting. So I guess that's that's that. We wanted this to be pretty quick for everybody to take in, maybe on a Sunday or or maybe Monday morning. If you haven't checked out episode three, get onto YouTube, um, check out our Twitter. We have the link on there if you if you're not able to go and search it on on YouTube. But um, you can find us on Twitter uh, at uh, rest underscore field. We are on Instagram. We are certainly on YouTube. That's where you're seeing everything. There's all of our personal uh, Twitters too. If you want to give us personal shouts or or give us a follow or anything like that, you can certainly do that as well. My name is Jason Gorman. Not a change Chris in Wild. JT money. Got to get got to get the Twitter handles up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me quick uh, unshare and and share again. Did Ben leave? Ben already left. Can you guys see it now? Yes, we got it now. All right. There's everything. There's our our Twitter handle for our group for the podcast. Um, and again, all of our personal Twitters, if you want to look us up, um, give us a follow, give us a shout. But uh, like us, however you guys can find us, give us some feedback so we know if you like or dislike what we're doing. Um, and we will come back with another podcast episode four sometime in the middle of this week wednesday or thursday and get that out as quickly as possible tune in to our twitter at rest underscore field for the poll on who had the best um br draft that's what we'll call this one the br draft and um i guess with that we are out everybody have a great sunday a great rest of their weekend and a, a good start to their following week see you everybody bye